Hello, hello, and welcome to this edition of Mesquite Survivor Man slash Treasure Man slash Going to Work Man. This is, uh, which I was reminded last night, that this is season three. Season three. Can you believe it? Three years of boring <laughs> videos brought to you by me. This one is not going to be about metal detecting or finding Bigfoot or nothing like that. This one is dedicated to my mom-in-law, Ginger Malley. We are uh, going to be having her funeral today and it's, it just don't seem real at all. Not at all. You know, hindsight, man, oh man, if we could have hindsight before, then uh, we would have understood a lot of things. With Ginger, she wanted peace. She wanted everyone to get to be happy and to get along now in matters of the family and stuff like that she was a family woman and yeah she was for her children but ultimately she just wanted everybody to get along everything to be alright you know she didn't like controversy. She hated it. When things would arise in our family, she wanted desperately for it just to be okay. And you know what? She's right and everything should be that way. You know? I think that if we would all just put aside our differences, our petty vindictiveness and, and things of that nature, that we would all be able to enjoy life. You know, Ginger enjoyed life. She, towards the end, she she didn't enjoy it so much because she was hurting so much but you know what when we went to see her the children Tessa everybody she lit up like a Christmas tree she was awesome and even though her daughter and I aren't together anymore, I will forever be her son-in-law. She'll be forever my mom-in-law. And she'll forever be in my heart. So we ask ourselves in this time that of sorrow and grief, why? Why do things like this happen? You know, we buried Grandpa and uh, buried my daddy at an early age. Uh, Terry, now Ginger. You know, we, we struggle to find the meaning of this. And, you know, I, I want to put this out first and foremost that God says ways are not your ways and that we cannot understand everything but he also gives us comfort in the fact that he is with us whether we're here or there and that we will be given a new body 
that we would be with him and, and it comforts us and that's awesome and so so what does he do he tells us you know don't worry things will come offenses will come sorrow will come but the light comes and we uh we rejoice in it and when my daddy had passed away i struggled to find a reason of course you know as with everybody that passes away that leaves us too early and the bible says that the righteous perish and none taketh the heart But God said the righteous just perish, but they are taken away from the evil to come. So God takes us when when He sees things coming about. He takes people at the right times. We may seem, we may feel like. You know, this was too early or, or what have you, or but we must understand that everything is in God's time. You know, I feel like when Granny walked through the gates of heaven, that, that she was met, of course, by Jesus as they walked hand in hand, and then she was met by her mama who said, Ginger, you're just in time. Come on in. And she goes in and Papa in the country's there and it's his birthday. She was there for his birthday. And I believe that even if Ginger, if we wanted Ginger to come back, she would say, hey, to the Nana, because it's wonderful there. The love that she always strived for, the peace that she always strived for, she's now living it day by day throughout eternity. And she loves it. what do we do we go on with our lives we try to live our lives like the people who have gone before us would want us to live in love harmony peace our lives like the people that have gone before us who want us to. Yes, there is a time of sorrow. There's a time of grief. A time of pain. There will be many. In this world, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. But Jesus said, I've overcome the world. So we see afar off. We see the other side of the river. Though we swim and our arms are tired, we see the banks. We see where we're going. Doesn't mean we don't have to swim to get there. It don't mean we don't have to struggle to get there. But we can get there can't see it so let's do our best to get to the other side to do it right with dignity and you know what it always helps to do it together you know if we're struggling 
you know, I, if, I'm back on the swimming thing, if you're struggling and things are looking bleak and you get help from others and that helps you get across. So let's help each other. Let's help each other swim this this current, this strong water of life. And let's help each other get to the other side to peace. And we'll all be better for it. God bless y'all. I'm at work now. Um, it's going to be a short day at work. We'll get the service at um, 2 o'clock. I'll... I have got to run, 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 run to get home and everything after I do my work. But I just want to say, God bless y'all. I love every one of y'all. Jesus saves. Amen. Love y'all.